Okay, now a mid-level knight with mid-tier gear doing a forest maze solo. And I'm going to try and do as much of a clear as possible. Let's see. Forest mazes are nice places to practice your uh, confused movements. I am not very good at moving while confused. I have to admit that. They also are a decent source of well, they're the only source really of speed sprouts. And Mama Mega Moth, the boss of the uh, forest maze, is probably the easiest creature to kill who drops pet eggs. So if you're looking for pet eggs, you can run a whole lot of uh, a lot of forest mazes. Maybe pick up some easy pet eggs. There's the hole. If you're really low on equipment, the forest maze does give a fairly good selection of low tier equipment. For instance, there's a T3 robe. Now, like I said, I am not good at moving all confused. I could use a lot of practice. Oh, there's a T4 robe, T3 bow, T3 thunder katana. So yeah, if you're sitting there with beginner equipment, this is a good place to go into to get a lot of the tier three, tier four weapons and armor and uh, tier one ability items, another T3 armor. Let's see. Most of the uh, most of the monsters in here are pretty easy to kill, especially for a melee class like this. Uh, there we go. And so, when you're mid level, like this character is. Coming in here and just clearing it out will get you a lot of experience. Probably move you a couple of levels. Ooh. Should be coming up on the boss room here pretty soon.
And there you have it. A forest maze.